Hello, happy Pride Month, and welcome to my channel. I've decided to up my YouTube game. I will be uploading videos every Monday and Friday for the rest of the month, so definitely subscribe so you can get notified when all those come out. If you really want to see them all, hit the little notification bell and an alert will literally pop up on your phone. Anyways, let's get into this video, which is Pop Diva Conspiracy Theories. So, this first one involves my favorite, one of my favorite divas, Britney Spears. If you haven't heard that Britney Spears song that was just playing, it's because it's not by Britney Spears. I know it sounds just like one of her songs, right? Here's where the conspiracy starts. That song is called Black Widow, and it's actually made by a woman called Maya Marie. Maya Marie has been listed as one of Britney Spears' backup singers for years now, but this conspiracy is that she is the voice behind all Britney songs and Britney don't sing her own music. I mean, no one's ever cared about Britney Spears for her vocal talents, right? But this is some next level stuff. Like, she doesn't sing her own songs, it's Milli Vanilli, like. So anyway, this conspiracy started back in 2011, or sorry, 2007, with the release of Britney Spears' album called Blackout, which is regarded by her fans and many critics as her best album of all time. So if you, rem if you remember back to 2007, you know that Britney was going through a lot of stuff that time. She was getting a divorce, she was shaving her head, going to mental hospitals, things like that. So people started wondering, how did she produce this great album with all this crazy stuff going on in her personal life? And the theory is, her people are just like, we need to put out an album for her, and so they dragged this other girl, they paid this other girl to do it, and... Um, she did the album, and if you listen to it, it does sound a little bit different than her first three, um, her first three or four CDs. It sounds a little bit, like, even more nasally and high-pitched than before, if that's possible. And it's weird, because in interviews, when that album is brought up, uh, Britney does not want to talk about it. She kind of changes the subject and things like that. You know, um, she might, it re might remind her of a hard time in her life and she might just not want to go there. But it is kind of odd not to talk about something that was very successful to you. And so the theory is that Maya Marie has been singing songs for Britney Spears for the last few years, ever since then. Um, I found nothing to support her um, singing Blackout, but there is some proof that she sang the entire 2013 album Britney Jean. Both of Maya Marie singing for the Britney Jean album were leaked to YouTube. I'll actually put a link to that video in the description box if you want to watch it. But for example, here are her raw vocals from Work Bitch. Hold your head high, fingers to the sky They gon' try and try ya, but they can't deny ya Keep it moving higher and higher Keep it moving higher and higher So hold your head high, fingers to the sky Now they don't believe ya, but they gonna need ya Keep it moving higher and higher Keep it moving higher and higher and higher work 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 work
work, 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 work it out, 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 you better work, bitch. So that's the same voice you hear on the actual song. I'm sorry, it just is. Um, Maya Marie's father actually gave an interview to Star Magazine and he said, The truth is my daughter can sing exactly like Britney Spears. She has a knack for it. It's possible Britney doesn't even know whose voice is on her own album. She might just lay down her track, leave, and not care. So, my con my conclusion on this conspiracy theory is that it's half true. I feel like Britney does sing a little bit on her songs, but I feel like she might be the backup singer and Maya Marie might be the main singer. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but anyways, if you want to go further than, further than that, um, the voice is different on the Glory album, which is Britney's latest album, and people say, oh, it's Britney singing again. Well, how do you know they just didn't get another girl <laughs> instead of Maya Marie to sing her songs? So, I don't know. Just some food for thought. But, in my opinion, half true. Uh, Alright, so this next conspiracy is a Lady Gaga one. So, this theory is a bit darker than the first one, which is perfect for this channel, and it is that Lady Gaga is a murderer. This uh, theory involves a young up-and-coming singer, 19-year-old um, Lena Morgana. Um, she committed suicide in 2008 by jumping off of a building, supposedly. As you can see, her and Lady Gaga have really similar styles. And the theory is that Lady Gaga pushed her off the building so that she could... Um, steal her style and become famous. Gaga's former producer Rob Fusari actually admits that uh, Gaga stole some of her style from uh, Lena Morgana. So there's that. But there's no real proof that Lady Gaga killed this girl. Uh, people point to the fact that Lady Gaga became famous like eight months after this girl died. And they use uh, this scene from the paparazzi music video as, you know, a kind of proof that she did this. They took me. Without clutch. So, Lena's mom actually told the New York Post that the spirit of her daughter haunts Lady Gaga. She didn't say she murdered her or anything, but who knows what she is implying with that. Um, whatever the case, people also say that Lady Gaga herself didn't kill her, but um, the Illuminati brainwashed this girl into killing herself and all this stuff and when you get into that that's where you kind of lose me with um, believability so for this conspiracy theory I am going to go with false however I do believe that Gaga copied some of this girl's or should I say got inspired by some of this girl's style which is no surprise because she gets inspired by a lot of different people's styles. So I want to go from a conspiracy theory that I believe was false to one that is obviously true. This one involves Katy Perry. Not the one where she is John Bene Ramsey, although you should look that up because it's pretty funny. This theory is that Katie's entire image and 
maybe her entire career, is based off the comic book character Katie Keene from the Archer Bunker series. Just look at this side-by-side -side picture of um, Katie Keene with a still from Katy Perry's Ro Roar music video. Look at this picture of Katie Keene next to a still of Katy Perry in the Dark Horse music video. Or this one from the Last Friday Night music video. So I definitely believe in coincidence, uh, but this one just is goes on and on. Katy Perry gave an interview where she denied this. She said she found it on the internet and she said, The internet's so crazy. I'm not smart or calculated to do something like that. But there's so many similarities. It's just weird. And I believe her. I do not think she came up with this idea herself. I don't think she makes her own costumes. She just puts on what people tell her to wear and that's what they did. Who knows though, maybe she did get freaked out by it and that's why she, you know, got the short blonde hair. Who knows? Alright, so our last conspiracy theory involves none other than the Queen Bee herself, Beyonce. So there are a million conspiracy theories involving Beyonce. And that's to be expected for someone who's that famous, but so private. I mean, how much do we know about her personal life compared to the three other people I just talked about? So, I get where they come from. This conspiracy is that Beyonce had Joan Rivers killed. Joan Rivers was an 81-year-old comedian she also hosted the TV show Fashion Police, where she said this about Beyonce. Beyonce, she's wearing Osman and her jewelry is Lorraine Schwartz. Ugh, what is black and white and doesn't look as good as she did at the Super Bowl? <laughs> why? Explain to me why. I hate this so much. It reminds me of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, mostly black with that one annoying white thing. <laughs> So the great Joan Rivers died on September 4th back in 2014 due to, due to complications from a throat procedure. But this conspiracy is that since September 4th is also Beyonce's birthday, that as a gift she was allowed to make an Illuminati sacrifice. And because of what you just saw of what Joan said on Fashion Police, she chose Joan Rivers. So, all I have to say about this conspiracy is that if someone would have someone killed over an unfair critique, it would be a freaking Virgo. So, let me know what you think about these conspiracy theories in the comment section below this video. Um, and let me know which ones you think are real and which are false. Um, anyway, have a great Pride, everyone. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And again, please subscribe. And I will see you Friday. Have fun and be safe. And don't litter.